guys, Josh from Accents here, bringing you another tech video. Today, we're going to be looking at the engine monitoring unit, commonly known as the EMU-1. The Accents EMU-1 is a device which converts analog signals from your engine into NMEA 2000 data. This data can then be shared with any compliant NMEA 2000 certified device on the bus. So on the EMU-1, we've got a battery connection, which will measure the voltage from the battery supply that it's connected to. You have six gauge inputs, four configurable alarm inputs, and two TACO inputs. The two connections on the end for the auxiliary are currently unused, but we are looking to input them in future. It is worth noting that all of these can be configured using ActiSense Toolkit. The EMU can be used with one or two engines, and currently, with the six gauge inputs that are available, we support over 60 different gauges. These are all available on the help sensor, which is accessed through our website. If the gauge that you're looking to implement isn't on the supported list, we do also have a custom gauge tool which allows you to configure your own gauge by taking your own readings. There will be another video explaining how to use that going forward. So one of the most common issues that boat owners have, especially on smaller boats, is space. Analog gauges can sometimes take up quite a lot of real estate, be it on the helm, fly, wherever it is, by putting the EMU-1 in, you've got the ability to either remove the gauges completely as it can run from sender, or you can mount the analog gauges somewhere that aren't seen, allowing you to have more space for things like MFDs. Another problem that is commonly seen when using analog gauges is the fact that there is an optical error. Although this may not be that significant to you, it is still apparent. For example, if you were to look at a set of analog gauges, if they aren't spaced perfectly in front of you and are off to one side, because of the angle on the needle, the value that you see when you're looking at the gauge could actually be different to what the gauge is actually reading. By having an EMU-1 which is taking those analog signals and digitizing them onto the 2000 network, you're removing that optical error. As you may or may not be aware, some engine manufacturers on their newer engines have now implemented the option to run NMEA 2000 straight from the engine, so you're removing the need for an analog to digital conversion. However, if you were to look at the price of one of these engines compared to the price of an EMU, you can see that the cost is hugely different. So in terms of cost effectiveness for getting analog to digital data, the EMU-1 is certainly a viable option. Once you have all of your gauges connected to the EMU, you can then use programs like NMEA Reader and devices like the NGT to view that data on a PC. Thanks for watching. For more information on the EMU, please visit our website.